Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel to pay a wood, wood turning. Today we have something truly special for you. In our workshop where my wife and I create unique items, we are going to show you how to transform something ordinary into something extraordinary with the Creality Falcon 222 laser. But before we dive in, I want to extend a huge thank you to Creality for sending us this amazing laser and this Rotary Kit Pro, which I will be using in this video. It is companies like Creality that support creators like us, and we are incredibly grateful. But that's not all, stay with us till the end of the video, as we will share an exclusive tip that will add an extra touch to your projects. We will start with something very personal. I'm going to make a unique board for my wife. She says the blacksmith mare is always barefoot, but today we are changing that. I'll give her something we create in our shop. Happy wife, happy life, right? I will show you how you can create something truly unique with this laser. And remember, we have an exclusive tip coming up for you. We will continue by personalizing coasters made of oak wood. To ensure precision for each piece, I make a template. Thought it was a bit too large at the beginning. This was a valuable part of the learning process. And don't worry, we're getting closer to that exclusive tip you won't want to miss. Now that we finish engraving, we must not forget an important maintenance step, cleaning the laser lens. When particles and soot from engraving accumulate on the lens, a red warning light can appear, signaling it's time to clean. First remove the laser model and clean any soot that has accumulated on the underside. Then unscrew the lens housing which contains a treated attachment. Carefully unscrew and remove the lens. Use glass cleaner and gently wipe with a soft cloth to avoid damaging the surface. It is important to correctly reassemble the lens. One side has a kind of rubber to ensure the lens fits snugly back in the treat. Once the lens is cleaned and properly reinstalled, don't forget to press the reset button to reset the system. With our laser fully maintained and ready for more work, it's time to introduce you to the correct installation and use of Rotary Kit Pro. This allows us to engrave on cylindrical objects, opening new creative possibilities. And now the first exclusive tip that will change the way you work with the Rotary Kit Pro. When installing the Rotary, it's crucial that it is perfectly aligned with the laser. The best way to do this is to look down the top axis of the laser and check it if it aligns with the housing of the Rotary Kit Pro. 
You can verify this alignment by visually assessing it from the top. Once the laser is aligned, disconnect the Y-axis cable and connect it to rotary kit. Don't forget to also use the small tailstock provided to secure objects on the rotor. These simple jet effective steps ensure that your engraving projects on cylindrical objects will always be precise and of high quality. Before every use of the laser, it's essential to precisely set the center of the laser for optimum engraving. A sticker on the laser model indicates the laser's center. The easy way to align it is to match this line with the center of the treated knot on the rotary jaws. These steps ensure the laser will operate with maximum precision for every project. To engrave on cylindrical shapes such as spice containers or coffee mugs, you need to activate the rotary kit function in the Lightburn program. Enter the product's radius in the special field shown in the video. The easiest way to do this is with caliper. After entering the radius, use the framing function to precisely determine the engraving area. All the products I will engrave today are still uncoated. Some products we coat with epoxy resin, but for engraving purposes we select uncoated surface since epoxy resin is not suitable for engraving. I will continue with engraving our spice containers. Adding unique graphics to these containers not only improves their appearance, but also adds value and uniqueness to each piece. Now we will tickle a slightly bigger challenge, engraving on coffee mugs with handles. The handles which can extend to the housing of the laser and the rotary limit the engraving area. Nevertheless, beautiful results can be achieved. This highlights the only minor challenge with this Rotary Kit Pro. 
it fixed height. I hope Creality will consider adjustable height in future versions, which would further enhance its usability. Nonetheless, as you will see, it is possible to create beautiful engravings even on mugs with handles. Before we conclude, I want to share one more exclusive tip that will elevate your work with the LASER and Rotary Kit Pro to a whole new level. When engraving on wooden products, it's very important to thoroughly sand the wood beforehand and not apply any finish before engraving. Sanding to a final smoothness ensures the LASER creates a clean and precise engraving and you also avoid issues with additional sanding that would be necessary if the laser burned the finish. These simple but crucial steps ensures your final products look professional and without unnecessary additional corrections. That's all for today, dear friends. I hope you enjoyed our guide and that these tips will help you with your future projects. Thank you for watching and please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Share the video with friends and let us know in the comments below which topics you'd like to see in the future. Until next time, keep being creative and see you soon.